testing, 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 testing. going to open up with this powerful song, Purple Sheet. If you need one, I'll run out to the lobby and get them for you. Maybe someone else can do that. Your daughter? So I'll look over there. Daughter's in from out of town. No. <laughs> She'll come back again next week, right? <laughs> How you doing? 
Good to see everybody. I missed you last week. Shalom. Had a great simcha. Okay. So if you all have your sheet, we're going to open up with Proud to Be, a request by rabbis. Can't, can't say no. Okay, here we go. Paralites on a Friday night. Warm bread and a cup of wine. Oh, what a way to bless the day. The same the whole world over. Three stars and a quick amen. Next week, do it all again. A melody's connecting me to my global community. And though we're all interconnected, we still find those so disaffected. And everyone's got a main objective. This is ours. This is us. We are one. I am not afraid. I've never been one to run from what's in my way. And everything I become's written on my face. I tell you I'm proud to be a part of this family. I am not afraid. I've never been one to run from what's in my way. And everything I become's written on my face. I tell you I'm proud to be a part of this family now. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Welcome, everyone. Welcome as we celebrate inclusion, the Jewish value. There's so many Jewish values around being inclusive and welcoming. It's certainly a TBO value uh, during this International Pride Month. Um, it is also a celebration, and the two things are very much interconnected, a celebration of sisterhood, of TBO sisterhood. Um, and we will be installing our new officers for the new 23-24 year um, this evening. Um, and why don't we take a minute if look around, if there's anyone who you're not sure maybe who they are, introduce yourself, say hello, say Shabbat Shalom. I'll give you a minute to do that. You can stand up if you want. You can move around. We have a, a few visitors, so tell them who, they, who you are. <laughs> Oh, and you got your colorful kippah. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, um, thank yous. Thank you to our president, Matthew Meyer, up here on the Bema with his assistant for the week, Bradley Meyer. Um, welcome back to Andy Sussman. Welcome back to Ruth Pavlo. How are you feeling? <laughs> Hopefully she's feeling good back there. Um, thank you to Xavier Leff for our tech. Thank you to all of you for being here. Thank you to those of you at home who are unable to be here but are joining us through live stream. So since this is the third Friday, the Wine Friday, um, we have, which is why I'm a little, <laughs> my tablespoon of wine always like, my brain can't handle it. Um, that's why we have out here candles for everyone to light. That's part of our third Friday. So everybody is welcome to please come on forward to light a Shabbat candle. To do our primary candle lighting up in front, we'd like to honor our outgoing and incoming presidents of Sisterhood, who are Carol Glantz and Kathy Glassman. There you go. Good idea. Wine and matches. 
always a winning combo. Yes. Yeah. And this is for Carol. So you can all, all light, and then we say the, then we'll say the blessing. Amen. Blessed are you, O God, source of all light, who brings us holiness in the mitzvot and who has given us the mitzvah of lighting the Shabbat candle. Amen. Hear my prayer, I sing to you. Be gracious. To the ones I love And bless them with goodness And mercy and peace Oh, hear my prayer to you Let us light these lights And see the way to you And let us say Amen. Let us light these lights and see the way to you. And let us say Amen. And let us say Amen. Thank you. Yes, And one of our welcoming Shabbat songs is Shalom Alechem, when we uh, welcome the special little angels that accompany us on Shabbat. Uh, Shalom Alechem is on page 142. I haven't been able to do this in quite a while, so I got two, got two arms. 
Uh, Baruch Hu is on page 146, and you may rise. La, 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 On page 152 is Shema from our Torah, and the Shema perfectly aligns with our theme tonight of inclusion, of the multiplicity of people across our globe. Um, Shema emphasizes the oneness, the unity of godliness in our world that brings all of us together, that in can interconnects all living things, all human beings. Um, so we say with a special hope that our world may actually live this value in the future of understanding the dignity and worth of every human being as we join together in Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevo Shem Kevo you may be seated. And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And all these words which I command you on this day shall be upon your heart, shall be upon your heart. And you shall teach them diligently unto your children. Shall speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, and when you rise up, and you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand and they shall be a symbol between your eyes and you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and upon your gates and upon your gates that you may remember 
And to all of my commandments And be holy Unto your God Unto your God Unto your God On this Shabbat, when we especially honor um, the women of our congregation, the TBO sisterhood that is part of the women of Reform Judaism. It, of course, is very appropriate to recognize and acknowledge the women who, according to the Torah story, were out in front leading the joyous dancing and singing when our people finally were able to flee from slavery in Egypt. Uh, so as we join in Micha Mocha, our people's exclamation of joy at being freed from slavery and just embracing the unknown that lies ahead for them, um, we have some tambourines, so please come up and take or um, Molly, how about you help hand? Okay, you didn't look very happy about that. Do you not want to? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep bugging you until you're like old enough where you're like, okay, enough already. Um, as it says in the Torah, they, so just let everybody, let everyone take. When, Molly, just, I know, here, I'll take, I'll take. Okay, okay, so that way. Um, <laughs> yes which is a good thing. Um, so we remember how the women took their timbrels and danced and sang in, at the excitement of leaving Egypt and all the oppression and persecution that went with it. And we pray on this inclusion Shabbat for that to be the experience of all people in our world, to be free from oppression and persecution. Um, so Miriam's song. So are you going to start with Micha Mocha and then go into this? Okay, so starting with Micha Mocha, going into Miriam's song on your song sheet. into the promised land. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Mary as she sang her 
song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Mary around the women died and danced the whole night long. And Miriam the prophet took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women followed her just as she had planned. And Miriam raised her voice in songs she sang with praise and might. We've just lived through a miracle. We're gonna dance tonight. And the women dancing with the timbrels followed Mary as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Mary and the women dance and dance the whole night long. And the women dancing with the timbrels followed Mary. Sang her song, sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women dance, then dance the whole night long. Woo! That was fun. We finally got going. Took a little bit of time, but we got there. <sighs> I think that's, that should um, count as some good physical therapy for my <laughs> collarbone, I think. Okay. Uh, now I lost my place. We are continuing with the central portion of our worship service, which is the tefillah. And it begins on page 164. If you're able, you may rise. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufi agit Adonai open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu v'Elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibur Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekonei Hakol. Vizocher chaste avot vaimahot, ume vi gula li bene bene ham, leman shamovi ahaba, melech ozer umoshia umagain, baruchata donai, magin abraham, vizrat sara, atagi burle olamadonai. Mechaye ha kolata rav lahoshia, morid ha tal. Mechal kel chayim bechesed, mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim. Zomech noflim berofe cholim, umatir asurim, umekayem emunato. Li shene afa, mi chamo chabal givurot, umi do melach, melach me mi tu mechaye, umats mi ach Yeshua, v'neman atalachayot akol, baruch atah Adonai, mechaye. Hako Ata Kadosh Vishim Hakadosh Ukadoshim Bako Yom Yaluka Sela Baruch Ata Donai Hail Hakadosh. We continue with a moment of silent reflection, either with the words in our prayer book or the prayers of our hearts. And we continue either standing or sitting.
Hosea Shalom is on your song sheet. Hosea Shalom Bim Roma Hosea Shalom Bim Roma Huyase, Huyase, Huyase Shalom who ya said, who ya said, who ya said, shalom. Who ya said, who ya said, who ya said, shalom. Hallelujah. Who said, shalom. Be him, Roma. Who said, shalom. Be him, Roma. Who ya said, who ya said, who ya said, shalom. Who ya said, who ya said, who ya said, shalom. Who ya said, who ya said, who ya said, shalom. Alleluia. May the one, may the one makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who makes peace bring peace down. Bring peace down, Alleluia. We pause to send our thoughts and prayers to all who are in need of healing, emotional, physical, um, those who are recovering from injury or illness or surgery or life difficulties. On this Shabbat, we especially think of David Appel, Carolyn Bouchard, Ethan Campbell, Yanko Ben Hanna, Nicole Dubin, Daniel Urchik, Mordechai Ben Sarafega, Royce Bat Shmuova Uvatsheva, Tracy Janetta, Julian Kaner, Ellen Kaplan, Erwin Kastrinsky, Marion Kastrinsky, Shelley Lehner, Michelle Lasanti, Arthur Longo, Arnold Reamer, Sheila Rosenberg, Rosalie Saltiel, Louise Samuels, Maxine Shapiro, Bobby Sherman Gieschen, Herman Spring, Andrea Teeple, Carla Teich, Katie Weinstock, Lori Weinstock, Bat Sheva, other others we wish to think of. We hold all of them in our hearts and our thoughts and hope that this week will be one of healing for them as we join in Misha Beirach um, on page 109. <clears throat> Sarah, 
When I was 16 years old and a hospital volunteer, I was filling a patient's water pitcher and his two visitors, two older men who I remember as wearing denim overalls, asked me a question. So are you doing this because you want to be a nurse? I replied, no, actually I'm planning to be a cultural anthropologist like Margaret Mead. They were quiet for a moment. Then they burst out in uproarious laughter, like it was hard for them to breathe, they were laughing so hard. Oh, you're going to be a secretary and then get married and have babies. Ah! I glared at them and walked out of the room. Laughter still going on. I knew they were wrong. Two old guys in overalls? Like, what the heck? Like, telling me what I wasn't going to be capable of doing? I would definitely be going to college and graduate school and pursue a profession, right? That wasn't the last time I heard that kind of laughter. Times when I made a statement about my goals that didn't jive with someone else's experience of how I should be. How a woman, or as time went on, a woman of my age, should be. When I was 50, my little one headed to college, and I was looking to move east and pursue my rabbinic career full time. I had a couple of Jewish professionals literally laugh at the idea that I would think a woman of my age would get a rabbinic or Jewish educational position of any kind, either with a synagogue or a Jewish day school. Unfortunately, there is never a shortage of people who are ready and willing to mock you, to mock who you are and how you're working toward living your best life. And as someone who has been on the receiving end of such treatment, I know this kind of derisive laughter does introduce a sense of self-doubt, regardless of how ignorant the laughers might be. So I strive to be someone who never inflicts this kind of mean-spirited doubt on the self-understanding of others. Demeaning the experiences and the identities of others goes completely against our Jewish value of B'Tselem Elohim, the understanding that each unique human being is created in a godly image. The Jewish idea, going back to the earliest chapters of our Torah, the very beginning of Genesis, that every individual contains an element of holiness within them and must be treated with both kavod, respect, and chesed, compassion. This includes people we know and people we don't know, people we might feel great similarity to and those who we find to be quite different from ourselves. We celebrate this Jewish ideal at this TBO Inclusion Shabbat, a celebration um, that takes place within Pride Month. Pride Month is an international celebration focusing on all those who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, people who have often been greeted with scornful laughter about who they are. On this Shabbat, we, we take the time to reflect on our own behavior uh, toward those who self-identify in ways 
we may not personally relate to or even totally understand. Part of living the Jewish value of B'Tselem Elohim is understanding that each one of us is responsible for offering respect, care, and openness to someone else's experience, even if our own life experience has been different. We know there are women of all ages who look to pursue fields or interests that are less traditional for women to pursue. We don't mock them. We support them so they can be their best selves. We know there are men of all ages who look to pursue fields or interests that are less traditional for men to pursue. We don't mock them. We support them so they can be their best selves. We know there are people who are attracted to and form romantic relationships with people of a different sex, of the same sex, who have had relationships with both. We don't mock them. We support them so they can be their best selves. We know there are people who know at their core that they are not the sex that they match with biologically. We don't mock them. We support them so they can be their best selves. As Jews, we have known for thousands of years that a better world for all of us is built upon this basic value, upholding the holiness and the dignity of every human being. Let us go out and live it. In just a moment, we will celebrate the women of our congregation who will lead our Temple Beth Or Sisterhood in the coming year. Our sisterhood is part of the national organization, the Women of Reform Judaism, an organization whose mission is to strengthen the voice of women worldwide and empower them to create caring communities, nurture congregations, and cultivate personal and spiritual growth. The Women of Reform Judaism, the WRJ, mobilizes collective action on a variety of causes to create a just and compassionate world for all people of all backgrounds and identities. Our theme this evening of inclusion is a perfect blend with sisterhood, an organization that has long served to build a sense of community among Jews of all ages and backgrounds and interests as a model of respect and diversity. It's my honor and privilege to turn the mic over to Doreen Klein for the installation of our TBO Sisterhood Officers. or your stuff. <laughs> Harriet, Is your past here? president, come. She here. Okay. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I'm Doreen Klein. I'm the past president of TBO Sisterhood, and I'm your installing officer this evening. We're here today to recognize and thank the women of Sisterhood who have led for the past two years and to install and show support to the women who have chosen to make a commitment to Sisterhood going forward. We gather to death. I'm Fran. <laughs> We gather today as women of vision, women of commitment, women of action, women who live the covenant made with God at Sinai. We gather as leaders of sisterhood, dedicated to Tacon alum, 
and devoted to the highest ideals of our religion. We gather as women of reformed Judaism. On behalf of the entire membership, we want to express our sincere thanks to the outgoing officers of the board for your untiring and dedicated efforts to strengthen the work of our sisterhood. For those of you retiring from office or changing positions, we hope you have received even more than you were able to give. Of course, this is not goodbye, but see you later, since your counsel and continued support will always be welcome and needed. Please stand as your name is called. Officers Lisa Fendel, Elaine Greenberg, Rhonda Milrot, Sandy Horowitz, Linda Gorian, Selma Keel, Sandy Lobel, Chairwomen Regina Elkin, Renee Horowitz, Mindy Patra, and Char Friedman. You are hereby relieved of your offices with the heartfelt gratitude of the sisterhood. Okay, now. Now, for the most coveted title, the most important title there is. Carol, would you please come up here? Carol is our immediate past president, and every president who is up here will tell you that that is the best title ever, whether you're sisterhood past president or temple past president. Okay, Carol, our success has been greatly influenced by your leadership especially through this last year under such difficult circumstances. Yet, you and your team held interesting educational and fun programs while increasing interest and attendance at meetings. It is my honor to discharge you as president of Sisterhood and present you, if I can bend down to the few flowers. And this is your Sisterhood pin to wear with honor your past president sisterhood pin. Okay. In a beautiful pink bag with a glitter. Beautiful, yes, yes. <laughs> Eileen, this is for you. Okay. It is now my pleasure to introduce the TBO sisterhood offices and board members of 2023-24. And by the way, a lot of our members are on vacations and not here. We really have a great group of women that helped make sisterhood the best that there ever is and was. President, Kathy Glassman, please stand up. Okay, Vice Presidents, the first Vice President of Programming. We couldn't get one person to say they would do it. We have a whole committee that's going to make the best programs ever. Selma and Doreen and Laura Mazin and Roseanne and Sandy LaBelle and Gloria Rima and Linda Gorey and everybody said they helped make wonderful events. We have our programming and marketing person, Carol Glantz, so watch for great flyers and great, all kinds of great marketing techniques. Treasurer, please stand, Elise Naxon. Recording secretary this year will be Sandy Hurwitz, stand up. Our chaplain will be Sandy LaBelle. Membership secretary is Lisa Fendel. She is not here tonight. Immediate past president, Carolyn. She's so happy. The sunshine. Uh, the membership vice president. I am really sorry. This is, yeah. Selma Keel is the membership vice president. Very good, Selma. Okay, our sunshine person is Gloria Rima. So when you are sick or have a great occasion, Gloria is going to send you a card. Birthday buddies, Roseanne Kerman, please stand. College Connection, if you have a kid or a grandchild in college, uh, please talk to Bell Reynolds or Lori Weinstock. They will set you up and send your child or grandchild all kinds of wonderful things on holidays. Ladies' Night Out this year will be Edith Kaplan and Anita Levin working together. And our game days, game nights will be Carol Glantz and Regina Elkin. Not this year. Okay, Rabbi, is there any comments you want to make here as? Thank you and Mazel Tov. How about that? Nice and That's short a good and one. sweet. 
So you are all to take your pledge as officers. So should I read and you repeat, or you want everyone to just read it in unison? OK, I ah. guess they're reading it in unison. Names there. Close in. Didn't seem to think she went over. Okay. See. Um, oh, because they're and only the. Do they have? Do you have the no, pledge? Okay, yeah, so they need the pledge. No, then the next one's birthday buddies go to everybody and say that. We're just having a little discussion up here to clear things up. <laughs> first I meeting is already we're happening. They're so <laughs> anxious to get something. going. Their first meeting is underway. Okay, so let us, um, well, I guess you all say together the pledge. I accept the office and pledge myself to uphold the faith placed in me to the best of my ability. As this duty summons me, I answer as did Abraham when he was summoned by the Lord Hineni, here I am. I'd like to add, when I make the call, I'd like you to answer and say, Hineni, here I am. <laughs> okay. A sisterhood leader, Kathy, Kathy, come on up, is chosen not only out of respect for her ability, but also because she is known to have demonstrated a deep commitment to Judaism. When Sisterhood asked you to serve as president, it paid you a high compliment of singling you out to stand as our representative in our religious as well as in our civic context. We are certain you are ready to, we are certain you stand ready to justify that hope and faith. Thank you. And I'm supposed to give you flowers. Yeah. She's got candy. She's candy. Got <laughs> all right, I hope all you ladies sitting here, if you're not part of Sisterhood, you join Sisterhood because you'll never join a better group. Great. Thank True. You everybody. Mazel tov. Yeah. We are all grateful for all that you do and bring to the temple and for the temple. and be a fashion show model, it's really fun. <laughs> um, oh, I guess we join in, let's join in Shehachianu, because this is, now they already, they ran off the bima, but we're still gonna sing Shehachianu for all of you, um, which is our blessing when we reach a very special time. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu vekiyamanu vehigianu lazman hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu vekiyamanu vehigianu Lazman Hazeh. We give thanks to celebrate this moment. Amen. Doreen, are you back up as uh, Dan, you are coming forward as a member of our, as an active, busy, wearing of many hats member of our Board of Trustees to tell us what's happening at TBO. <laughs> it's, it's the Klein Show tonight. It's always good when it's the Klein Show. I have two minutes? Mm, okay. One minute. You got it. Okay. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Andy, Xavier, Ruth, happy to see you. Matthew, Bradley, 
Good job, Bradley. Oh, who went that? Um, <laughs> we have ONIGs. You all know that. We have an ONIG fund. Uh, there's an ONIG, I think, as we leave here. We're going to eat. We're going to have a good time. Can, uh, the uh, installation of sisterhood, I didn't hear my wife having a, a position in sisterhood or on the board, so I'm very happy. I'll get more attention, uh, but congratulations. Um, tomorrow morning, Torah and me, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Nine it's going to be Tuesday, Tanakh, Crazy Kings of Israel. Well, now we're up to Esther. We're on Queen oh. Esther now. Esther, okay. Which is also a crazy book. How was she? How did she behave? Okay. She stirred up the kings? Yeah, you have to come and find out. They're, the group is a little surprised because it's, it's a little different than they remembered from Purim. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of raciness. I'm in not general. sure I'm excited enough about it, but anyway, uh, Thursday night's bingo. Uh, I see all the bingo workers here, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I see all the bingo players from my temple. All three of them are here. <laughs> now, Anne, it was your birthday yesterday. I'm not going to sing it again. Okay, let's move on. Uh, book club Sunday, June 25th, uh, via Zoom from North Carolina. Read The Wind Knows My Name. Is this all correct? Jerry Kaplan, the master facilitator. Um, Mahjong Canasta, um, donations made by 6.30 by the end of June could get you or should get you in the book of thanks. So if you haven't done enough and you want to get a lot of mention in the book, so uh, get it going. Uh, partnership forms, they've all been sent out. If you haven't gotten any, just let them know in the office. Get them in. Really important. Uh, we are working diligently on major events for this upcoming year. So just wait. They're coming. Thank you. They are. Thank you. I would like to invite all the outgoing board members of Sisterhood to come forward to open the ark for Alenu. Alenu is on page 586. And once they get up here, you may rise. <laughs> You're going to open the ark, so you hold the metal rod and pull it over. <laughs> You're not out going anywhere. Alenu le shabeach ladon hakol datet gedula leotzer breshi shelo asanu kigoye haratzot velo sahanu kemish bechol ta adama shelo sam chelkenu kohem vegor alenu kechol hamonam vaanachnu korim umishtahim umotim. Lief de Melech, Malche Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruchu, Benemar, Behai Adonai, Le Melech Al Goharetz, Bayom Hahu, Bayom Hahu, Ie Adonai Echad, Ushemo. Ushemo, Ushemo, Echad. And our Torahs are all in their rainbow attire for our Shabbat. Yeshur Koach, thank you, and you may be seated. We remember those who are no longer with us, those whose memories 
will live on in so many ways. Um, those whose memories live on in our hearts, live on in all the unique gifts that they brought into our world. During his time of Shloshim, we remember our beloved member, Stan Baumstein, husband of Sonia Baumstein, father of Lori Sokoloff. And we remember Dr. Joseph Enet. And those whose yard sites fall this week, Ira J. Adelberg, Morris Backer, Anna Brown, Arthur D. Cohen, <clears throat> Harry Confield, Helen Fine, Pearl Goldberg, Anne Griefer, Julia Kane, Adele Lee Kaplan, Beatrice Karasik, Herman Levy, Fran K. Tarter, Emma Lachansky, Blanche Neiman, Alfred Bernard Packer, Jeffrey Roth, Lorraine Schatz, Jean Solomon, Louis Sugarman, Bruce Wasserman, Gerald Zaidman, and we remember on their seventh yard site, the 49 people killed at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, the deadliest terrorist attack against LGBT people in the United States. Other others we want to remember on this Shabbat. We honor all of their memories as we join in Mourner's Kaddish on page 598. You may rise. Yitkadal the Yitkadash Shemei Rabbah, V'yalma divara chirutei v'yamlich malchutei, V'chayei chon uv'yomei chon uv'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael, Bagala Uvizman Kari Bimru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabam Varach la Alam Olme Almaya. Yit Barach the Yishtabach be it Paar be it Romam be it Nase. Be it Hadar be it Tale be it Talal Shme de Kudsha Berihu. La Elam in Kol Berhata Vishirata. Tushbehata Venechamata. Dami Ran bi alma vi imru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu vi al kol Yisrael, vi imru, amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu ya se shalom, aleinu vi al kol Yisrael, vi imru, amen. Vi imru, vi imru, vi imru, amen. seated. <clears throat> we move from our sacred prayer of memory to the joy of the Shabbat day as um, observed, of course, with food and drink. So as we get all our challah and wine slash grape juice set up for Kiddush, I'd like to call up all the incoming board members of Sisterhood to come up to lead us in Kiddush and Motsi. And it is wine. Kiddush is on page 123. Oh, it's there. I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. 123. <laughs> 
Zeh Mitzrah. 